Hello and welcome to another video. I am so excited for this one. I've been thinking about it for weeks and after the success of the pancake day um, video with my little pancake gadget, if you haven't seen it, I'll pop the link below. Um, I am going to do Will It Waffle? Now this is inspired by the amazing guys over at Good Mythical Morning who I can't believe I've only discovered in the last few months. They rep and link are amazing and they did a will it grilled cheese and it was just as I did my grilled waffle grilled cheese video with my friend Luann and um, so it made me thinking will it waffle and I'm going to be doing three different types of cake mix and a savoury falafel to see can you make delicious cakes and biscuits and falafels with a waffle iron now I love this waffle iron so let's get ready. So the first one I'm going to try is this um, Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. Now normally I do all my baking from scratch but for this um, purpose I thought instead of um, using loads and loads of ingredients because I have no idea if this is going to work or not, I got some Betty Crocker mix. You can readily available buy this in the US and the UK and different supermarkets and it's super easy. It's literally this and two tablespoons of water. So, so, so easy. How was I making this water? <laughs> so, in a bowl, and I've got the tablespoon mix, uh, tablespoon mix, tablespoon measure, which if you haven't got a tablespoon, is 15 millilitres. So two of those. Uh, and two of those. And then mix it up. Okay, now it's, it looks quite a lot of powder for this. Now it's the ingredients. And it says it will take 10 minutes to prepare. How can you take 10 minutes to mix some water into a, into a bowl? So the cookie mix together with water until you have a stiff dough. That can't take 30 minutes. It... I got my hand in there. This is really, have I used it? Have I used it all too much? Is that for half of it? That's weird. Let's rip up a batch. Normally, they would take thirty. Uh, they would take ten minutes to make, and then you spoon the dough onto a baking sheet, and leaving generous gaps because it will spread. And then bake in the centre of an oven for ten to twelve minutes. Now, I'm estimating it won't take ten to twelve minutes. There's no way that was enough. Oh, I've got some mixture on my sleeve. Should have worn an apron, I'm so messy. Um, I'm going to put a tiny bit of warm water in. Perhaps, I don't think it's quite a tablespoon when I'm adding that in. There we go. You watch, I'll add too much and I'll be getting up and putting some more flour in. I do love tweaking things and tweaking recipes. Baking is, it really is one of my favourite things to do. So, that's looking a bit doughier. Yeah. yeah, I think probably I do quite happy on the spoon there we go so it is quite wet now <laughs> but that's okay because cookie dough should be quite wet you don't need to chill this either and um, you just mix it with water until you have a stiff dough now i don't know whether to make individual little cookies in this or one giant waffle cookie mm, we'll see i think i'm going to use the whole thing it normally would make how many would it make? 10 to 12 cookies? Oh, eight. It would normally make eight cookies. So I'll, I'll use half the mixture because it'll make four. Okay, so. Ah. It's not really a stiff dough rather than a. I don't bring a towel over. <laughs> so I'm just going to. Oh, it's all hot and smoking. Um, I'm going to use a tiny bit of spray oil on here just so it doesn't stick. There we go. I'm so envious of Pam in the US. You guys have Pam, and I don't, I, comment below if there is anything similar to that in the UK, um, but I haven't found anything. So it says it takes 10 to 12 minutes, but I don't think it's gonna take enough, take that long, because it's, um, it's cooking from both sides. Now a waffle, for me, it's just the perfect combination, because it's got like the fluffy bits, where it has big squares, and then it has got the, um, in between there it's got the crispy bits so if I'll just not make that was a bit much I think so. okay this might be a complete disaster I might never do this again 
but I'm going to work through and do the savoury one last. So that's half the mixture. I'll put that out the way for another day. Oops. Oh, that would have been such a mess if it just flopped off the ends of the table. Okay, we'll flatten them down a bit. Okay, goodbye cookies. Okay. And the best thing about this um, cookie mixture is there's no raw egg in this. So it's perfectly safe if you um, can't have raw egg but you love cookie dough. Not so. It tastes quite as nice as homemade, but would you me? So I'm gonna go and get washed up. I'm gonna leave these five minutes and then give them a check. Or unless I smell something burning and I'll check before. But I'll be back in a few seconds with some hopefully some delicious waffle cookies. So um confession, I had a quick peek early, forgot to press play, and it actually broke apart. So the top was cooked and the bottom was cooked, but it was still squishy in the middle, which is what you expect of a cookie and what makes them cookies and delicious. So I had a little accident. It was really yummy. I ate it. I'm not gonna lie, I scraped it off the waffle maker on one side, but then just closed it and hope for the best. So <laughs> I got a plate ready to see what's happened. Okay, so let's turn this around so we can see together. Are we ready? And yeah, that's kind of cookied. So I had to kind of peel off here, um, and this this bit here was where you can see was where um, it had to get scraped off. So I thought, well, that's not going to work. So it was a bit crumbly now. Um, now the, the real test is going to be if it's going to come out and be a cookie because that's what we want. Um, I think the thing about cookies. American cookies, which I don't really think of, is they're soft and they come out of the oven and then you let them cool and harden up. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to let that cool. I uh, could turn it off and just let them cool and then they might just pop out. So I'm going to plug it. There we go. But I mean, waffle lines take ages to cool down, really a long time. Well, enough to lift these off. I think maybe if I hadn't made the dough sweat, this one's formed into like what wow, one mega cookie across those two, which is gonna be yummy. Uh, you can see it's still like in almost two halves. Uh, one, yeah, that's kind of one. Here we go. So, oh, 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 yeah, kind, yeah, oh, snap, oh, no, two, kind of two. I think the answer to will it waffle, um, American style cookies. Oh, it's a bit hot. Um, so once again, I'm doing this, so you don't have to. Oh, and you definitely don't have to burn yourself. I don't have to burn myself if I was a bit more careful. Um, I think I can safely say, okay, I'll get all the crumbs up. I mean, if what you want is American cookie crumbs and that's what you're going for, you could just buy some and crush them up. But if you want to make your own, a waffle arm was for you. So answer. Betty Crocker American style cookies, will it waffle? No, no it will not. On to the next one. Hi, so number two. We're gonna make a yellow sponge mix. Just a generic supermarket owned brand is what I found. Um, I didn't want to get one that was really um, posh and Dr. Oak could do them and Betty Crocker could do them and I'm sure they're amazing. But for this one, I just wanted your basic sponge mix. So. This one is actually really handily, and the reason I got this is because it's got little, um, like how how much you need if you're making different um, volumes of sponge. It's not a point with my knife. So I'm gonna go for the smallest, which would make two six inch cakes, because it's the one that only uses one egg, and I can't, I'm not gonna measure out half an egg. So we need a third of the packet for that, so 200 grams. I'm just gonna weigh that out. That's quite a lot. But, okay, there's two grams of that, got a third of that. 
and then you need an egg. Get one from my egg basket. Egg and your water. Oh, you meant to use an electric mixer for this. I'm just going to use a spoon. Um, and how much mineral water? And 60 mineral water, so four tablespoons of cold water. So I think we've learned actually follow the recipe is what I've learned. Because I've, you know, that, oh, was that three? I'm pretty sure that was three. Anyway, I'll just put in nearly, nearly a spoon in case that was three. <laughs> so, um, other things we've learned today, I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> or remember numbers. So I'm going to mess this up. Yeah, not use a whisk. Get your electric whisk out. Like, and I'm, I'm really, really hoping this one works because for me, this is going to be as similar as a regular waffle mix would be because it's a batter. So, and my waffle maker prefers batter. I took a lot of cleaning. If you go back and see how the cookies turned out, if you skip through that one, it was a bit of a horror show. So, it's a bit of a lumpy batter, but there's no big lumps of cake mix in there. Okay, okay. So, open up. Took a lot of cleaning this did, the last one. I didn't think it was gonna recover and I'd have to put out an SOS for another waffle maker, thinking I don't even think they make this one anymore. So, uh, going to now, a couple of spoons, ah, without burning myself, oh my gosh, need oven gloves. Oh no, but my hands are so little, they wouldn't fit in the oven gloves, I won't be able to hold the spoon. <laughs> okay. I'm just, again, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make one big, one big waffle, okay. I wouldn't normally spoon it in individually, just pour it in. There we go, let it mix, do its thing. Again, this says it takes 10 to 15 minutes to cook, but if we've learned anything from the cookies, which I promise I have, um, is it, it takes about a quarter of that time in a waffle maker. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be too full, I know it is. It's gonna squirt out the edges, so I'll close that. I'm not gonna open it earlier this time. I'm gonna give it the full five minutes, I promise. So I'm just gonna have another clean up, ready for when this comes out, and hopefully it won't be such a big wipe down. And I will see you again, and as you can see, this was too much. Um, this was definitely too much. <laughs> so I can, it's, it's like a volcano. It's literally just expanding inside. So I'm gonna clean this up and start again and put a sensible amount in the waffle maker. You definitely don't need to use the full mixture in it, okay? <laughs> oh my God, this is such a mess. I can see it cooking though. I can see it cooking, the bits that's still in the waffle maker. And it's, it's stuck a bit, so I'm just gonna clean up around it, I think. And then, um, and then it hopefully stop the flow. So, <laughs> what a mess, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so a quick clean up. Everything's a bit wet still. You do a very good at drying that. No, I've cleaned the cake away below. You can't have any. Um, it's been about three minutes and I've turned the waffle maker down. I think this has been the problem. It was up max and it's just too hot. No, no, get down. You can't have any. Um, so, oh, she's determined. She is determined. No, I know you can smell it. You're not having any. Go away. Um, it's not quite ready. But it's really stuck, um, which, I mean, it could be a good thing, but in here, don't touch it, it's hot, Toria. Um, the edges that are kind of leaked are cooked, so I'm going to try and unblue it. Oh, uh, no, 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 <laughs> it's, it's not worked. <laughs> what a mess, oh my gosh. I promised I wasn't going to open it. Ah. Just so impatient. I just want it to work so bad. I love waffles. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, ah no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I have two waffle cakes. This bit's worked. This bit hasn't. 
Mm. It tastes good. It's a really quick way of cooking cake. It's just not meant to be. So can you cook cake mix in a waffle maker? No. <laughs> No, I can't. I'm not going to say no, you can't, because I'm I'm sure actually you might do a better job of this than me learning from my mistakes. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting a bit tired now. Number three, and this one has to work. I am fantasized about this. Everyone has their favorite brownies and brownies are one of my favorite, favorite cakes um, to make. They're so easy to make, they're so quick and everyone likes either the crunchy bit or the squishy bit in the middle and I like them when they're crunchy and squishy so rather than again waste a load of ingredients I bought something everyone can get at the supermarket Betty Crocker good old Betty Crocker please don't let me down um and this one I'm gonna jinx it but I think this could work because it has oil in it so I'm gonna plug my waffle maker back in it's had a really good sponge bath um, no pun intended after the sponge cake fiasco um, and this one again is just the mixture but it's got oil in it and um, this time so and I'm not going to overfill it this time and it, this shouldn't expand so much like the um, like the sponge cake incident of a few moments ago um, so put that out of the way so, so just using Betty Crocker and brownie mixture and I'm really hoping this works um, I think I might have jinxed it again already but I've learned from the past two failures and I know what I'm gonna do this time so uh, egg and egg and um, 40 ml of vegetable oil which is three tablespoons which is not 40 that's 45 they can't add up one two I don't mind it having a little tiny bit more olive um, oil in it than normal because I think we need the oil. That's been the problem. Oops, need measuring spoons for then the water, which is 75 ml water. So five tablespoons. One, two, three, four, and a bit because I think it needs to be a bit thicker. Or thinner. Does it need to be thinner or thicker? Ah, oh, dang it! I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting all waffled out now. So then, so this time I'm going to use a whisk um, rather than a little teaspoon to really make it a good mixture. Um, I, I can't blame the mixture on any of my previous failures. <laughs> it was was me. I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe it's just waffle lines aren't for cakes. I'm sure you could get it to work. I know earlier when I said about um, the mythical kitchen could definitely get this to work. You could definitely give it a go. Um, it's a lovely thick batter, um, more like a waffle mixture. So yeah, this is gonna work. I know it, this is definitely gonna work. It's gonna work. So it's, it's gonna work. It's definitely, definitely gonna work. I've got make sure all the mixtures really well mixed in okay and the second thing i've learned is yes my waffle mi my waffle pan is non-stick but i'm going to get a little bit of kitchen roll and i'm going to give this a really good grease because it says a well greased waff um brownie tin pan so i'm just gonna give it a really really good grease not so that it's it's I mean, grease, I've just got a bit on a piece of kitchen roll and I'm just going to carefully grease it. Because I have the spray, but I don't think it really got in all the, you know, all the little squares. That's the, the, the shape. It's it's not made for that. I know. Tiny bit. I can see some bits that haven't got the oil on. Okay. Really good oil in there. And then... I'm going to use, I'm going to only put a spoon full in because this, this shouldn't expand too much, I wouldn't have thought. But then I thought that about the cake. So I'm just going to go like traditional waffle and put it in the, right in the middle. And then let it expand. Wow. There we go. Now this one, 
this one has to work it says it should make 16 brownies and takes 20 to 25 minutes to cook okay out of cake mixture okay hey 20 to 25 minutes to cook and counting the waffle maker is on like a medium heat because we've learned actually don't put it too hot it takes a quarter of the time on average so um five minutes hopefully it says you will have crispy on top and gorgeously gooey inside total heaven so in my head it's crispy on the outside and gooey in the little square pockets of in between um that's what i want it to be that's what it is in my head so perhaps i should have left it as that's what it could be in my head instead of making another mess of something else delicious I'll be back in a minute to see how it's getting on, so stay tuned. I open it. It's been four and a half minutes. The smell of chocolate and chocolate brownie is amazing. There is definitely no leakage, and I'm, I'm really everything I'm hoping is going to work. I really, really, really want this to work. Um, so I'm just gonna. Oh, it's done it again. Dang it. No, I'm just gonna leave it so it's cooked all the way through because it wasn't ready. Damn it. Dang it. So impatient. So impatient. Okay, so it's been unplugged for a few minutes and um, I'm not gonna lie, I might cry. You might see genuine tears. I will crack this. And there we go. This part here and this part here has worked. Whereas all of this part has not. It's still stuck to the waffle maker. And it's, but it's, it's sort of, it is peeling off. So this time it wasn't sticking to the pan. Yeah, it, it hasn't worked again. It, it, it is really nice though. I mean, it's, it is quite, hmm. It's delicious, but I think it just cooks it too quick. <laughs> Another lesson learned. <laughs> I had a second attempt at the brownie. I mixed the brownie mixture or as it was with another egg and some milk and it made it a lot more liquid. And then in the waffle maker again, this time I didn't spray any oil on it and it's come out like this. It's more waffle than brownie. Um, but it's got that lattice effect that I wanted and it's a bit crunchy, it's a lot brownie, a lot chocolatey, it's crunchy on one side, that's the top and then it's softer and, and it, that's where it was against the, on the bottom and then it's a bit softer where it hasn't touched the plate, um, yeah, absolutely delicious, so Brilliant, it works. Yay, me, I'm so happy I managed to crack it. Now on to the next one. And this one I know is gonna work because I've done it before, okay? And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so if you're still here, and I really, really hope you are, for the last one, I've got the, the old gang back together of our catalogue of success for this week's video. We've got the chocolate chip cookies. They are a cookie and they are actually really, really delicious. No, crunchy, yummy. I'd give that one probably a, if we do an out of, let's do it out of five so it doesn't sound quite so terrible. I would give these like a two out of five. <laughs> the cake. This is awful. Um, I wouldn't use a sponge mix to make a cake anyway and it just pulled apart. Yeah, you can have this one over, you can have this bit, but I did get one little square out of it. So it's really dry. It cooks way too quickly in a waffle maker. It's not a goer, okay? The cookies also cook really quickly, so definitely didn't need as much time. But the brownie that I really, really, really wanted to work, I would say, right, that's a minus one out of five. The brownie, I'm gonna give this a three out of five because I think this has hope, this brownie. It's crunchy. It's chewy. It's nice. It's just getting it so it doesn't, like, so that that's not a piece. So you open it and you have an actual waffle. 
And then the falafel. Yes! It's worked. So, it works and it's just lovely crunch on the outside, soft on the inside. Little waffles. Oh, no. Yeah, little waffles. Waffles of falafel. Falafels of falafel. Falafel. Okay, well, getting them out, getting them out of, of the machine is quite hard with a spoon on camera when they're hot. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but I got one out. So this is my lunch, and oh, it's delicious! Bro, right. let's close that. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. Give that subscribe button a hit, um, so you can see what other food I managed to completely ruin in a waffle maker, and. Ding the bell so you don't miss out on me ruining food in a waffle maker and give me a thumbs up because who doesn't like to see girls ruin food in waffle makers? Thank you so much. Bye.